Hey guys, this is Tiamat Ruler, and as you can see, um, and as I've been talking about for quite a while on Twitter and everything, and in some of my videos, I have my capture card, and so I am playing my Pokemon X on my new 3DS XL that I got with the capture card. Um, you should be seeing an unboxing with the, for that, as a, along with, uh, in the same video with uh, Hydros Plays and the Wild Chikorita's unboxings. But, uh, for theirs, um, but so far it seems really nice. It's working really well so far, and I have a kitty trying to, uh, kiss me. Um, but anyways, we're gonna bring Random Wonder Trades back, and hopefully it's not just gonna be, like, normal. It's not gonna be just for no reason anymore, just for the fuck of it. Hopefully we, it is going to be for... Wonder Cup battles, as long as I can find somebody every week or so, or maybe every time I do it, just, I don't know how often I'll do it, but hopefully we can find someone for Wonder Cup battles every time I do it, and uh, yeah, that would be really cool, but uh, we're going to trade off all these 5 IV Beldums, I am breeding Beldum right now to get a shiny Beldum, um, I'm hoping I find, before I get the shiny, I find an Adamant shiny, or an Adamant 5 IV or something, so I can put that in there with my ditto and get, and get a, but we have Caleb from Tennessee, but, um, and get, so that I can get a shiny, an adamant shiny, my, I, I do have a shiny Metagross, but I got it as a Metagross, and I'm breeding these shinies for a reason, so we get a lit Leo at first, that could be pretty good, depending on what it has, um, yeah, I don't know. Could be, could not be. I don't know. Its name is Tigger, though, so that's kind of cool. Um, we're, we're not going to check the uh, move sets or the st stats or anything like that until afterwards. Um, I got a loving kitty right now. Let's wonder trade the uh, second one here. And my kitty's being a cutie. But, uh, yeah, I'm super stoked for this. I hope, I'm hoping to get lots of cool content out for you guys. Especially once Auras comes out. I've got Auras series planned. Um, kind of a hush-hush thing. We've got Jack here. How nice to meet you too, Jack. Um, let's see here. What does Jack have for us? A Froakie. Okay, those are pretty common. So I'm not too... Terribly excited about that unless it's got a good move set with like protein and stuff um, It could be pretty good. It could be terrible It's probably just the tackle and growl froakie you usually get so it could be could be the one we have up for We, we would be we might be putting up for the wild card um, And these w wonder cup battles um, that I'm I, I do have someone I'm gonna do this with for this but um, Wonder cup battles I got the idea from uh, Razbowski. Ever since he started that, I've absolutely loved them. I was the second person to do one with him. I actually have the Wonder Trades on my channel for that um, Wonder Cup I did with him. Um, I'm not going to tell you how it went. You're going to have to go watch his channel, find out. It's the second episode. So, um, But and this is Sands from Brazil. Says, are you ready? Uh, I don't know. What am I getting? Going to trade me something cool? But, uh, yeah, he's the one who, uh, and I get a Fennekin. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Um, am I going to get a chest pin too? That would actually be kind of cool if I get a chest pin too. Um, I might, I might not. Um, wonder trade. Yes, but yes, Razbowski did the Wonder Cups first, and that was pretty cool. I loved seeing him do that. I loved participating in it, and actually all of the Johto Trio has participated in a Wonder Cup now, and uh, so I'm not going to tell you how any of them went. You're going to have to go watch those. You're going to have to go find which ones we're in, um, even though I think he puts the names in the titles, so it shouldn't be too hard. Um, 
And this person says, Saeed from the United States says, Mega Diancy. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be available in uh, Oros. But not now. Um, I, I may. I do have some other interesting ideas. I, I kind of want to know what you guys think. Um, one of my ideas was maybe just record... Because I do shiny hunting a lot. Maybe just record those. And, um, then once, and then if I get, like, a shiny, just take, like, a section of it and, uh, and, uh, just take, like, a section of it and, um, what was I going to say? And then show you guys that part of it so you can see what, see me get the shinies. I can actually do that now instead of... Cause, it was a hassle before to try and record me getting shinies actually live because I would have to use my phone and it was a pain and my phone doesn't record really over 15 minutes very well. Shiny Mew for trade. Are you going to trade me a shiny Mew? Because that would be tits. Aaron, Aaron from Durango, Mexico. If you trade me a shiny Mew, I will love you forever. And we get a gulpin. Ew. Ew. Um, yeah, not too happy about the gulpin, um, but we'll figure it out. We will figure it out. Um, yeah, not, 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 not my favorite. The farfetch was pretty cool, I guess. I think we only have one more to go. Yeah, we only have one more to go. So, that's pretty cool. We're getting through this. Um, it's only been, like seven minutes now ah uh, communication failed so i gotta do this again and which means i'm gonna have to connect to the internet again which kind of sucks but i don't know i don't i went through fast wow trade all these five iv beldums um are we gonna get something good something like a second evolution or maybe a final evo that would be pretty cool um, or are we gonna get a chest pin to finish off our 6th gen starter set that we seem to have already? Roger from California, nice to meet you too. Are you gonna give me something good? Because that last person didn't give me a shiny Mew like they said they would. That was really disappointing. They said they had a shiny Mew for trade and they didn't trade me it. Um, no, I know you can't send Mew over Wonder Trades. Uh, Drift Bloom. I'm not a big fan of Drift Bloom, but you know, get Drift Bloom, whatever it's, yeah. Drifloon, but it, it could be good depending on what it has but now's the time when we get to check the moves once this is done so um but yeah i do i do know who i'm doing this with you'll you'll get to find out in the episode that that, that it happens um uh but yeah obviously i don't know okay so tigger the lit leo is rash rivalry it's a female Headbutt, Noble Roar, Takedown, and Fire Fang. That's a pretty powerful moveset. Level 25. Wow. They had to train that up. That's pretty cool. Froki, level 1, Timid, Torrent, uh, Pound, Growl, Toxic Spikes. I guess that's okay. It's decent. Uh, Fennekin, Hasty, Blaze, Scratch, and Tail Whip. Not a big fan of that one either, to be honest. Um, but at least Froki has Toxic Spikes. Um, Senior Puero, Puero far, the Farfetch'd, Jolly Kenai, with Leer, Fury Cutter, Fury Attack, and Aerial Ace. That's not bad. Not gonna lie, that's not bad. Um, Gulpin, Careful, Sticky Hold, with Pound, Yawn, and Poison Gas. That could be okay, but I'm really not a fan of Gulpin at all. Um, and then we've got Drifloon with Hasty, Unburden, Minimize, Astonish, Gust, and Focus Energy. Okay, so I'm okay with the Drifloon because it's got some, it's got some okay moves on it. Gulpin, uh, Farfetch'd I'm really okay with. Litleo I'm really okay with. Froki I'm not terribly okay with, but it's got the Toxic Spikes so it passes. So it's between the Gulpin and the Fennekin. At least the Gulpin has... Actually, no. That's not a, an attacking move, is it? 
No, it's not. But it's got that yawn. So I think I'm going to stick with the Gulpin, surprisingly enough, and trade off this Fennekin. So, yep, that's what I'm going to stick with, just because that yawn could come in handy. Um, so, let's see what we get for this Fennekin for our wild card. Um, I'm just that scratch and growl and that being all it has is not really a I'm not a big fan of that so um knife that's their name knife as in k-i-n-i-f-e from texas uh what do you got for us knife is it something good better than this fennekin okay um yeah that's way better than the fennekin um yeah i'll definitely take that we're gonna have to go back into the wonder trades and see what that one's like just to check out its stats and stuff. Um, but, yeah, I, I'm excited for that, a Hariyama. I mean, I'm not a big fan of Hariyama, but that's definitely better than that Fennekin we had, depending on what it has, obviously, but I'm, I'm guessing it's going to be better than the Fennekin we had. Um, okay, so level 23 Hariyama, Adamant Guts, Fake Out, Whirlwind, Knockoff, and Smelling Salt. Holy shit! Holy shit, okay. So we've got a level 25 Lit Leo named Tigger. We've got a level 1 Froki, a level 23 Hariyama, a level 10 Farfetch named Saint Puerro, a level 10 Gulpin, and a level 13 Drifloon. So we're, we're looking pretty decent. I'm not, I'm not too upset with this stuff over here. Um, but yeah. Uh, make sure to keep an eye out for the Wonder Cup Battle episode that's going to be coming up, going up. And if you're a first-time viewer, uh, please subscribe. Um, and if you like the video, leave a like. And this is Tiamat Rulers signing out. I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Peace.